Thank you for tuning in to Devos. All this week we're talking about how to be a strong person, how to stay strong. There's times in which we are strong, but it's hard to keep yourself at that strength. It's real easy to go backwards and to become weak. Look here in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened. Now, I want you to notice there. He commands you to be strong. We're not just waiting for him to make us strong. You have to take the first step and claim his power, his strength, and the courage he wants you to have. Courage is just facing your fears. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, that phrase there, being dismayed, meaning some people get off the path where God wants them to be. They stop doing what they were going to do. Why? Because they got scared. They got frightened. Don't let the devil do that to you. Proverbs 31, verse 25. Now, this is all embarrassing, men. This is talking about the virtuous woman. I want you to listen to this. Strength and dignity are her clothing. And she laughs at the time to come. Do you understand what's going on here? This woman so loves God. She's a woman of God. Strength and dignity. Dignity are her clothing. Listen, as I said not long ago, she eats problems for breakfast. Okay, she's used to it. So she wears, she has the problems. People can see it. But she faces her problems with dignity and a good testimony before God. Now, some women put men to shame when it comes to problems. You know, I found as a pastor, when I go in the hospital, women handle illness better than most men. It's very sad. We both should just trust in God. Don't go back to something God has already rescued you from. What's that mean? You know, some of us lose our strength because we start thinking of something really, 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 really sad that happened years ago. We, we think about how somebody really hurt us and why would they do that? I tell you a story. I had this lady and for like 25 years, she told me about her. Her mama favored her sisters over her. And why did she do that? This woman loved God. This woman served God. But she was a broken record. She wouldn't stop that. So here she is. She's up in her late 70s. She's dying in the hospital. And while she's dying, she's hours away from death, she started to cry. And she said, Pastor Mike, why did my mama love my sister? I told her. I said, stop that. I yelled at her. I said, you're ready to see Jesus. And hey, listen, don't go back back to past pain that's over. Don't do that. Or your sin. God already forgave you. Stop going back to that which God already rescued you from. Look at 1 Peter 5.10. I read this before. Look, after you suffered, he said, the God of grace, he says then, he's going to restore you, confirm you, strengthen you, establish you. Put that verse up somewhere. Listen, and as I said before, every problem has an expiration date. Listen, I know it's raining outside. And sometimes it rains and it rains and it floods, but it's not going to rain forever. I want you to say, God, give me back my strength. I claim it in Jesus' name. I'm going to get my eyes off my circumstances, and I'm going to get my eyes upon the Lord today.